Hello everyone, welcome to the fifth video of MATLAB Simulink Essentials. After watching this video, you will get to know how to do the connections of half wave rectifier with RL load and free willing diode. For that, we will use various components present in the library browser. In the previous video, we have seen the simulation of half wave rectifier with RL type of load. Let us check how were the waveforms. In the positive half cycle of the AC supply, entire supply side voltage was getting applied across the load side and in the negative half cycle, the inductor was returning the energy to the supply side. Because of this, some part of output voltage is present in the negative part as well. So the average value of voltage across the load gets reduced. Let us check what will happen if we connect a freewheeling diode. Copy this diode, rotate it and connect it in parallel with the load. So this is the circuit for half wave rectifier with RL load and free wheeling diode. Save the changes and run the simulation. Open the scope block. So this positive half cycle output voltage is same as that of RL type of load. But in the negative half cycle output voltage in case of free wheeling diode is zero. Another change which you can observe is in the waveform of current. So this current waveform in case of free wheeling diode gets improved. As the output voltage is not present in the negative half cycle, the average value of load voltage gets increased. So basically this free wheeling diode is used to increase the average output voltage across the load. Now let us check voltage and current across this free wheeling diode. Take the bus selector. Connect this measurement port to this bus selector. Copy this scope block. Change the parameters of bus selector. Remove these signals. Select diode voltage and diode current. To this first terminal, I am connecting the output voltage across the load. Now save the changes and run the file. Here you can observe various waveforms. The first waveform depicts the output voltage across the load. Second waveform is the current flowing through this freewheeling diode. And the third waveform depicts the voltage across this freewheeling diode. So in the positive half cycle of the AC supply, this freewheeling diode, the cathode terminal of this freewheeling diode is getting connected with the positive terminal of the supply voltage. So it gets a reverse bias. So entire negative voltage will get applied across this freewheeling diode. During this positive half cycle, this inductor will store the energy. In the negative half cycle of the AC supply, this freewheeling diode will get forward bias and it will provide a path for this inductor to release its energy. So here you can find the diode current waveform which is gradually decreasing and the voltage across this freewheeling diode in the negative half cycle is zero. So that's all from this video. Check out the description box for the quiz and do answer them in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe to the channel Start Scratch and do check out our other videos to learn similar skills through our bite-sized content.